and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, we will cover the different changeover reports that you can generate within on-cost estimating and how these reports can be used to better manage your job. We'll start with an estimate that is in progress and currently has a few pending change orders. To review your existing change orders, you can navigate to the Estimating tab on the Estimate toolbar and select to view change orders. Here, you'll be able to see the status, name, cost, and date of each ex existing change order. As you can see, we have four pending change orders on this job. The first report we discuss for the change orders today will be the change order documents. The change order documents can be used to document the approval process for a new change order and are found on the reports toolbar under customer reports. Once selected, you'll have the option to choose a single change order and generate one of three reports. In this case, we're going to choose our framing materials for our change order. As you can see, both the description and what the change order includes will be pre-populated here for you to review. And then you can generate, as mentioned, one of three reports, either the itemized proposal, a change order document that's a fixed fee, or a change order document for cost plus. The itemized proposal will be the first one we generate today, and this will generate a list of all of the additional items that will be necessary for the change order so that you can see a cost breakdown of the work. You can choose the display columns here, and once generated, it will look something like this. You can see that all of the pertinent information for the job has been pre-populated for you using our custom AutoDoc fields, as well as the description of the change order and the items included. The second one we're going to generate today for our change orders is going to be the fixed fee contract. Once again, we're going to select our framing materials and go ahead and check the box to create a change order document and choose to fixed fee. Once you generate the fixed fee contract, you will again see that all of the pertinent information has been pre-populated for you, but this report is going to give you the original contract amount of the job, the revised contract amount prior to this change order, which includes any previously accepted change orders on the job, the cost for this change order, and then it will add that cost to the revised amount to give you the new contract total should this change order be accepted. You can also include information such as the change in the contract time for this change order, the adjusted date of substantial completion, and then also have your acceptance here for the owner and yourself to sign off on. If we would have generated the cost plus contract, it would look very similar to that fixed fee contract with the exception of this additional line where you can multiply the cost for this change order by a specific percentage. As you can see, you then have the additional days added and the acceptance agreement as well. The final type of report that you can generate for change orders is the change order summary report. This report will allow you to display all of the change orders that are on the current estimate, and it can also be found underneath our customer reports. The change order summary will allow you to choose options such as which markups are included in your total cost, filter by the change order status, accepted, rejected, or pending, and also whether or not you would like to group by category or by change order number. Once you generate the report, you'll see that all of our change orders for the job have been displayed here, or at least all of the ones that we have selected depending on those status and filters. You will get a total for each one of these change orders the description if you choose, and then finally the total for all of the change orders on the job at the bottom. Properly managing change orders is essential to ensure that any changes to the original contract are crystal clear and that the client fully understands the cost of the additional work. With our change order reports, you can leave a paper trail not only documenting the necessary changes, but also the explicit agreement of the client to pay those additional costs. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.